Welcome back to Mike's shitty lighting tool videos. Hold on a second. <coughs> there we go. That's much better. Ah. All right. On this episode, it's the hammer extravaganza. <laughs> If you had have told me a couple months ago that I would ever use the phrase hammer extravaganza, I would have fucking probably slapped you, but here I am. Um, I bought two new hammers today from Harbor Freight, and I feel like my hammer collection is pretty well-rounded, and um, no matter what I need to beat on, I have the proper utensil. So I just wanted to show you all the ones I have, and I think that you should have some of these, or at least, you know, a couple of them in your collection, because they all really do something a little different. So the first thing is this little this little baby ball peen and I got this in uh, one of those three old toolboxes that uh, a co-worker gave me in the uh, vintage tool haul video and I've actually used this a bunch of times in the past couple weeks just for little light light you know light duty things you're not gonna really hurt anything that you hit with this I don't I don't even think you could uh, uh, <laughs> yeah you probably could kill somebody with this if you were determined enough, you could. But, I mean, any one of these would probably be a better option. On on this episode of Mike's Murder Weapon Reviews, um, <laughs> don't use a baby ball peen hammer, because it's, it's going to be the least effective kind of hammer. But it's good for light adjustments and on small things if you're really working with something delicate. Uh, something else if you're working with something delicate is this dual-faced soft hammer. Um, I got this at Harbor Freight, and I love Harbor Freight hammers. That's something I will not shy away from buying because they all have lifetime warranty. And, and if you're using them in a trade, you want something that's just built better from the get-go. But if you just need some hammers from around the house for random things, Harbor Freight's the way to go. It's the cheapest hammers and like I said, they're lifetime warranty. So if you manage to screw one up, uh, just take it back. I don't see Harbor Freight going around or going out of business anytime soon. So a bunch of these are Harbor Freight, but this is uh, this is one I've had for a while. I've actually used this to um, true up the grinding wheels on my bench grinder. Uh, I had a little thing hooked up trying to check the run out of and how much the wheel would wobble. And when I'd find a high spot, I would mark it with a sharpie and then give it a couple taps with this. And I just kept doing that, and I actually got the thing balanced a lot better than it was just throwing discs in there. So. <clears throat> this was uh this definitely came in handy for that. Um, this hammer, um, I only bought this hammer because I wanted a tool that I could call a blow peen. Um, I have no use for it at all. I just it's called a dead blow ball peen, and that's kind of a mouthful. So I just thought it'd be funny to shorten it down to uh, blow peen or dead ball, uh, blow peen. Uh, yeah, dead peen. I don't know. I like blow peen. Now, I, I actually have gotten a bunch of uses out of this since I've had it. Uh, if you don't know what a dead blow is, it's this chamber here is hollow, and it's filled with, like, lead shot or lead pellets. So when you go to hammer, the pellets are coming from the back of the chamber, and when you make contact, they're putting that extra force into what you're hitting. And it gives you a much more, like, dead thud hammering action as opposed to, like, a regular all-metal hammer that's going to want to bounce off of it. Something interesting about this one is that it had a name on it. I bought this from Amazon. Uh, it was like the cheapest one they had. I just I, I wanted to try one. I've never used one before. Um, I really like it, but just to start off, I bought the cheapest one I could. And it looks like it is a name brand one that they ground the name out of. And then just charge less for it. So I thought that was cool. Whatever, I'm sure... If that wasn't ground out, this would probably be like 10 or 15 bucks more if it's some name brand. But I've been pretty impressed with it. It's really uh, keeping it in mind as a hammer that I have. And I tried to use it on a lot of different things. It's actually uh, it's, it's a good hammer to have. I might, I'll probably get another one in the future. And it, you can call it a blow peen, which is kind of, hey, hey, dude, um, hand me that orange blow peen over there. You know, it's just easier to say. <laughs> this is a rubber mallet that you get at the camping section of Walmart because this is meant for driving tent stakes in. And when I go camping, I will take this because I have some aluminum tent stakes that you really can't hit with uh, a metal hammer. It'll just bend them all up. 
Um, but this is good for a lot of other things. The, the rubber on this is softer than this uh, dual face hammer. And um, I, I can't remember anything I've used it for, but I have used it a good bit. Driving in tent stakes is the lowest one on the list of things that I use this for. But uh, it's always good to have a rubber mallet because you're, you're just going to screw something up with this. There's certain things you can't hit with metal. Uh, this is your classic rip hammer, rip like framer's hammer. Um, this is just a round the house hammer. We actually just, pr this pretty much gets used for a game called stump. Um, it's where you like flip the hammer and no matter how you catch it, so you, well, you got a tree stump full of nails and you have your nail and everybody takes turns and you flip the hammer and then no matter how much, how, how you catch it, that's how you got to hit someone else's nail in. And when your nail is hammered, you know, everybody's hammered yours in all the way, you're out. So if you catch it like that, that's how you got to hit it. It's a pretty fun game, but that's pretty much all this gets used for. Um, I have another hammer in the house that's pretty much like it. That one's used for actually framing and doing stuff like that. But this is the stump hammer. This is uh, one that I got today, Harbor Freight, lifetime warranty. Um, if anybody can tell me why this is called a drilling hammer, I would really appreciate that. Because in the only thing I could think of is if you were uh, like a drilling machine, like oil or well drilling, maybe that you know this is good to have to beat on the machine with. But I don't know. I just call it a mini sledge or a, a maul. It's four pounds, fiberglass handle. Um, this is just for beating the hell out of something in a tight space. You don't have room to swing a big sledgehammer. This is going to be your best bang for your buck for small and uh, and deadly. This is a good. This is a good murder weapon. This would only take like one hit, and you could probably kill somebody. <laughs> Mike's murder weapon reviews. Here, you want to really kill somebody? <laughs> this is a hatchet. Now, this is a, this is a, another Harbor Freight thing that was on sale. Um, in a, a without rule of law, shit hit the fan situation. This is what I'm grabbing. Because you got this flat end here, and you can hammer with it, and then you have a hatchet, and you could chop, you could probably chop a, like a rather large tree down with this thing. You could throw it in a backpack, um, you could fucking chuck it at a deer, take down a deer, you know. If it was your, if it was up to your survival, I'm sure you could tomahawk a freaking deer from across the forest. <laughs> I didn't plan this out at all, but... It's just, uh, it's just the hammer extravaganza. <laughs> so, the hatchet, it's a good thing to have. But seriously, if some shit happened, I don't ever really think about that or plan for it, but I would probably grab this over anything. This would be one of the things I would throw in my backpack. Um, this is just a big ball-peen hammer. It has a nice, nice light wooden handle. So when you're swinging this, all of the weight is, all the weight of the tool is going into what you're hitting. So it's 20 ounces, but you can really beat the shit out of something with this. <laughs> um, this is not really what I planned at all. I mean, I didn't plan anything, but I'm just like, yep, you can beat you can beat stuff with this hammer, and you can beat other shit with this hammer. Uh, this is my first Harbor Freight special ever was the uh, Dead Blow Hammer. This was part of my first trip to Harbor Freight. This is a two and a half pound. I didn't ever grow up using one of these, but I had a friend that had one when we were in our teens working on cars, and I needed to have one. And uh, this thing I've had for five or six years just wailed on this thing, trying to, to screw it up. And that's the worst I could do. And I know I've seen dead blows that look way worse than this, but really, I, I haven't been easy on this, and it's, it's taken it pretty good. This was also something I got today. The big brother of that one, the four-pounder. Um, that's just... That thing's massive. I mean, you could really... You need to align something on a car or bend a bracket or something. This is this is the go-to. This is going to put a lot of force into whatever you're hitting. And you can hear the lead shot inside. And then the mother of all hammers, besides Thor's hammer, the sledgehammer. This is an eight-pound sledgehammer. This is not Harbor Freight. I think I got this at Home Depot, wherever they sell... Rock Forge. Um, this one's awesome because it's got this nice thick rubber neck on it. So you, you're using an eight pound sledgehammer, you're gonna miss sometimes. And it's usually a piece of metal or a piece of stone, and that just destroys the fiberglass handles right here. That's that's where they always break. So this has got a nice big 
rubber protector on it. Um, I bought this because the house that I moved into, or that we bought, uh, had <coughs> hmm, a concrete uh, patio set. And I hated it, and it was all chipping up. Where the, the table weighs like 500 pounds, the benches weigh like 300 pounds. So I just decided to bust it up and uh, just took out some rage on this uh, patio set with the sledgehammer. So everybody's got to have a sledgehammer. And that's just when, when all of these have failed, the sledgehammer. <laughs> so that's it. There's a couple hammers missing. I have a lighter ball peen. I have another one of these. Um, and I have a one pound dead blow. So I have like a small, medium, and large of those. But you get the idea. I had two dead blows here. Or three, actually. So that's it. That is my hammer collection. I don't really have any immediate wants for a beating utensil. I think I have it all covered. So that's it. And thanks for watching.